If you're frequently short on cash, underemployed, or always crawling out of a deficit, you're probably dealing with normal money problems, right? Not necessarily. According to financial therapists, many of these problems are not money problems at all, but rather self-esteem, trauma management, or scarcity thinking issues. Discovering the emotional root of your money problems can be the key to the clarity you need to make major changes. Maybe it's not that you're not good with money, but that your parents couldn't and you feel doomed to repeat those patterns. Or if you're always broke, it could be because you're struggling with your self-esteem and compensating for feeling like you're not good enough by spending money. Here's what some of your financial problems might really be about. Number 1. The fear of repeating the past. Even if we recognize the patterns in our behavior, understand where they come from, and realize that we may never have been modeled otherwise, without the appropriate skills and mindset to seek or create new strategies and tools for ourselves, we are doomed to repeat the mistakes we have seen in others around us. But the trick is to reorient your perspective and have the courage to look for other opportunities to make different choices. If your parents or caregivers didn't handle money well, think about how they screwed up and do the opposite. Number 2. The Mentality of Scarcity What if you always assume not enough? There's never enough money to pay the bills, you're not smart enough to get a better job, you'll never get out of credit card debt. Sound familiar? Scarcity thinking lies to us and tells us we don't have enough. Our brain tells us in scarcity and crisis that we will always feel the way we feel right now. That this hardship will last forever. Asking yourself if it will be like this forever gently pushes back that lie and changes your perspective. And with a little change in perspective, you can make better choices. Number 3. Low Self-Esteem What if your debt or chronic waste of money has nothing to do with your pension for shoes and knickknacks, but rather low self-esteem? If you don't feel good about yourself, you may buy things to make yourself feel better or more worthy. And number 4. Unprocessed Trauma There are financial problems that most people face, such as job loss, inflation, difficulty saving, and problems with the system. Then there is the way people deal with the stress caused by these financial problems. Additional trauma, such as the loss of a loved one, divorce, or illness, complicates financial problems and how they show up in your life. Do you still want to know whether you have a toxic approach to money? Then watch the video which we link to you here. If you like the video then I would be really happy about a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe to this channel and activate the bell so you don't miss any new video.